Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Duffy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Duffy's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Now Fred is still going to be using that same six foot leash, keeping the bulk of that folded in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction, which again is a tug and let go to his training collar, the second piece of equipment that we're using. Duffy's also been fitted with his own personal training collar, and we will show you how to properly use these during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now Duffy is seated on Fred's left. Again, that's where all of our training is done on the left-hand side. And the first command they're going to demonstrate is healing, proper walking on a leash. Fred and Duffy take off doing that now. And the command for that is just your hand straight forward in a let's go motion. And when Fred stops his feet, Duffy will sit. Now if Duffy doesn't sit, the hand signal for that is just a bent arm up in the air, and Fred will show you that right there. Now it's important that Duffy also walks at your pace on your left hand side without pulling a head or leg in behind. There's that automatic sit again. If he attempted to pull a head or leg behind, instead of using the word no, you use a closed fist where he can see it as your no, and then repeat the heel with your arm coming straight forward and start walking again. Now the next command they'll demonstrate is a stay command which is just going to be your hand open flat of your palm straight in front of Duffy's face where he can see you and then walk out to the end of that training leash. That's a build up self control. He started to go into a down. So if I gives him the no that's just the closed fist and then he repeats it with his hand right in front and out to the end of the leash. Build up some self-control with Duffy. You can start this one at a minute and work your way up in increments till you get to about three. And as Fred returns back to Duffy, he's going to walk all the way around him. And right back to that left-hand side heel position. And then he gives that arm motion straight through to heel Duffy right out of it. And I'll show you a little more of this heel sit and stay here. As he comes around, stops his feet, and Duffy sits comes forward, stops his feet, and I'll show you the hand signal, which is again, it's just your bent arm straight up, and then the stay with the hand right in front of his face, out to the end of the leash, and this time he'll demonstrate our recall command, which is just going to be your arm in, and folded towards you, and like you're pulling him towards you. We'll show you all these hand signals when we do your private lesson as well, but I'm going to try to focus on Fred's hands here so you can see them. He gave him the finish there, which was just to heal him right around the back of him. And Duffy sat, and then he healed him right out of that again. I'll show you this one more time. Have him in a sit, give him the stay, which is just the hand open right in front, out to the end of the leash. And then, and then you just wave him in like that. And Duffy's going to come in. Hand straight up, bent for sit. And then your hand going towards the back to heal him right around the back of you. And right back to that left hand side heel position. Hand up and you'll sit. All right, it's a good time to remind you, you want to practice all your commands with Duffy as well, 15 to 20 minutes a day, inside or outside your home, and then just incorporate the commands into your daily routine. Next up are going to be our down commands. The first one will be down from a heel position. Fred will use that hand straight to the ground for down. And then a stay, which is a hand right in front where he can see it. And then you walk out to the end of your leash. You can build up self-control with this down stay as well, starting at three minutes and working your way up in increments till you get to about five. And then Fred's going to return back to Duffy, walking all the way around him, just like he did on the sit-stay. And right back to that left-hand side heel position. Gives him some praise. And then the arm motion right through, even though Duffy was still in the down, to start healing again. And Duffy gets right up and comes with Fred. And I'll show you that down again. Hand straight to the ground. And then the hand right in front for the stay. Out to the end of your leash. This time he'll demonstrate that recall command instead of returning back to him. 
Duffy's going to wave him in. And Duffy's going to get up and come into Fred. Sit in front. And then his hand back towards around him to come for the finish. And right back to that left hand side where Duffy sits. Nicely done. And we'll give them a second to get lined up for our down from a distance command as well. Now this will be the down from a distance. Have him in a sit. Give him a stay. Out to the end of your leash. And then you want to use your right hand. Open palm straight to the ground where he can see you. And he'll drop into the down. Very nice. And then Fred returns back to him one more time, walking all the way around. And right back to that left-hand side heel position. Gives him the motion to heel, and he'll get right up and come with him. And then the motion to sit. Alright, we've demonstrated for you our basic obedience commands and hand signals we've been using with Duffy while he's been here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Duffy, and we thank you again for choosing William Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.